Hello friends, what's occurring? Today's video is one that I have been procrastinating on for probably half a year. Um, I've been meaning to record it ever since I arrived here, where I am, in Japan. But somehow it did not happen and now we are here and it's May and I'm leaving in two months but I figured better later never. So I asked on my blog to ask me some questions you'd like to know about living in Japan or living as an exchange student and I got a couple of questions mostly about living here as an exchange student which I mean <laughs> was what I was going for <laughs> so first of all where are you studying I am studying in Osaka in the Kansai area and I'm studying at Kansai Daigaku, Kansai University. Where are you staying and how do you like it? Ties in with Anonymous as well who asked how big is the space I'm living in? Um, am I sharing it with someone else? And to have a great day. Thank you so much. Well I'm living in a international dormitory which means that there's international students as well as some um, um, Japanese students who want to live in an international dormitory to improve their English or to learn another language, to learn more about other cultures, stuff like that. So that's where I'm living and this is the room I'm staying in. The third question is as well from Anonymous. How long are you going to be in Japan for? How are you liking it? And they say I'm weirdly excited on behalf of your life right now. <laughs> I'm also very excited on behalf of my life. Um, which sounds very strange, but I'm still like, I look out of the window every morning and I'm so excited about being here. Um, even now when the weather's so grey and awful and it's really, really hot and humid already, even though it's not even the rainy season yet. It's just hot. It's very uncomfortable. Anonymous, most of these are anonymous. Um, anonymous asked, how are the people, how is your contact with the locals? I'm really enjoying um, my contact with people here. Because I speak Japanese, not fluently, but definitely good enough. It's not as hard to get around as it is for some of the students who came here not speaking any Japanese, obviously. And it's been really nice so far. I've made a lot of friends here in the dormitory, obviously, and then I've met a lot of people outside of it. It is definitely harder to get real active friendships going because the um, a lot of the people that I meet want to hang out with me to practice English or they want to hang out to take pictures and put them on their blogs or on their Instagram. Which I don't mind, obviously. It's really nice to just, you know, have different people to speak to. Uh, speak with but at the same time it's a bit difficult to form like really good relationships but there's definitely a couple of people um, how is the food how are you dealing with the differences in food I really enjoy Japanese food um, definitely like the first semester I was here was so easy I didn't have a lot of troubles like the first couple weeks I ate everything then I had a couple weeks where it was harder because I was really craving like my my proper bread. Um, I was craving the fruits that are a lot cheaper in my country. So that was harder. Then I got over it and now I'm kind of having a harder time again because I don't really want to eat um, any animal products anymore. Which before I came to Japan I was vegan for a long time. And then I stopped when I was in Japan because it's just so hard to find vegan food or to make food vegan because the vegetables are so expensive and all prepared food has at least an animal product in it. Um, yeah, so it's definitely hard on that topic. Like it's hard because I wish I could eat vegan and I can't and it's not making me feel as good. But overall it's fine. Like I'm eating a lot of delicious food. I'm experimenting so it's all good. Um, what is my daily life like? Depends on if it's a school day or not, obviously. Um, I usually get up quite early in the morning, before 8. I'll have breakfast, I'll have my coffee, 
do some yoga, though I haven't done it for the last month, but I used to do yoga pretty much every morning. Um, go to class, sometimes by train, sometimes by bike, sometimes I walk, but it's almost an hour walk, so that's not, not ideal, but sometimes I walk. Um, I have classes, Mondays, Monday, Monday, Tuesday only one, and then Thursday, Friday I have three or four classes a day. And on Wednesday and on Thursday I'm teaching at the university um, English classes. So that is my daily life and I usually sleep really early as well. But the last couple of days I've had a lot of trouble sleeping so... Yes. We used to go out a lot more than now, like the first couple months we used to go out at least twice a week. Um, we'd go do nomikai, which is basically you pay for two hours of drinking and you drink as much as you want to. And then we'd go to karaoke, stuff like that. Um, which was great and I'm actually looking forward to doing it again soon. I, like I haven't felt up for it for a while, but I will and it will be great. What is this? I don't know. Um, can you work as a student and how is your work? Yes, you can work as a student, you just have to get um, a special stamp on your visa or like a special permission sheet that says you can work. You can ask in the airport when you arrive. And then you can work up to 28 hours a week, which is... It's slightly more than part-time. So I'm only working a couple of hours a week because I'm teaching and then... Um, I'm teaching two classes every week and then sometimes I take other classes like conversation classes on top of that so I don't work 28 hours because <laughs> I don't think I could do that uh, were there any culture shocks overall I was fine because I've been studying Japan and Japanese for such a long time I didn't really have a lot of culture shocks like there's a lot of um, there's a couple small things like I think the biggest shock was when it's really hot and you can't really have your shoulders out because like everyone looks weirdly at you when your shoulders are out and um, a lot of people stare here which I think is because I'm in Osaka I think it's different when you're in Tokyo because people are used to seeing a lot of foreigners all the time but in Osaka Especially the older generations or students, they stare a lot. Or oh, children, just now. When we got back from the station, there was this girl and she was just staring. She was like, foreigner. And her, <laughs> and her mother was like, don't, don't, like, just keep going. She was like, but mom, they're white. And yeah, I think that's probably like a bit of a culture shock is just to have people stare at you. It really changes your perspective on how... Um, on how you are perceived. Yeah, that is that's interesting. It's something I think about a lot. Uh, we're getting off topic. Hold on. Um, did you have a language barrier? Of course, a little bit. But again, I know Japanese well enough that I can navigate daily life without any problems. And if I have to do official stuff, there's always um, one of the Japanese students here to help me out, which I'm very grateful for, because when I get in a stressful situation, my language kind of stops <laughs> and can't find words, and then it becomes problematic. But I haven't really had any problems. Mm. What is the cost of living like? Overall, it is more expensive than it is back at home, but it is this year because there's been a lot of bad crops, so buying ingredients is quite expensive. Food prices have gone up. The rent for this place is quite cheap, so that's not really a problem. It's just the food. Yeah, so it's more expensive than it usually is this year. Because overall it's not that expensive. I mean, the money you have at home should be fine to be here. Unless you come from Thailand or Taiwan. They've been saying that a lot of the stuff here is more expensive. But if you're from a Western country... Um, it's not that expensive. It's quite similar. Dreaming of demons. <laughs> That's lovely. Ask, what has been your experience having tattoos in Japan? 
honestly, it's been not bad. I have some people asking what it means or why I have them, but it's small enough because it's just like, you know, it's just that one. It's small enough that if I want to go in an onsen, they told me either it's fine or just, oh, can you put a band-aid on top of it? It's overall, I mostly get really positive reactions, even from the older people that I teach. They all love it. They think it's so cute. So Japan's vision on tattoos is definitely changing as Japan is changing. So it's not as much associated with certain affiliations as it was, let's say, 10 years ago. So unless you're completely covered in tattoos, you should probably be fine. And oh, I have one other one. I am Jane. I am J Burp. Burp? I'm J Burp. Asked, how was it when you first moved to Japan with the time difference? Was it hard to adjust? Oh my god, it was so hard. I had so much trouble. I think it lasted two weeks, the jet lag, and it was really bad. I was so exhausted. Like, skin deep, no, bone deep exhaustion was just. It was absolutely awful. I could, I could see the ground move. Like it was doing this all the time. And I asked around if other people had the same experience and they actually did. So maybe this is a jet lag. I've never had more than like an hour's difference when traveling. And it's eight hours. It was eight hours when I arrived and then it became seven hours. It was really hard. I'm fine now. I'm kind of hesitant. I'm kind of concerned about what it's gonna be like when I go back, even though people have said that it's less bad when you go back than it is when you first arrive. So it's all gonna be good. Definitely, if you have any other questions about being an exchange student here in Japan, in Osaka in particular, or if there's anything you'd like me to talk about, definitely drop me a little comment downstairs and I'll talk about it in another video. I'm very excited about doing these kinds of Japani videos in the last couple of months, so yes, thank you so much for watching. Um, like, leave a lovely little comment and subscribe if you want to. I'm going to try to upload videos weekly, so if you stick around maybe you'll discover some cool content. Okay, I'll see you next time. Goodbye!